Hi and welcome to Compline this evening, this Thursday the 16th of July. I'm Reverend Carol and I'm with the Kingsbury and Baxterley group of parishes. This evening we are commemorating Osmond, Bishop of Salisbury. So a little bit of information about Osmond. Born the son of a Norman Count, Osmond came to England in the wake of William the Conqueror, his mother's half-brother, and was quickly promoted to Chancellor in 1072. Six years later, he became Bishop of Salisbury and completed the building of the new cathedral at Old Sarum. He was a scholar and a good administrator, but was best loved for his lack of avarice and ambition, traits apparently not common in the new hierarchy of church and state. He took part in collecting the information for the Doomsday Book and was present at Sarum when it was presented to the King in 1086. He is said to have compiled the Sarum use. Osmond died on the 4th of December 1099 and his remains were translated to the new cathedral in Salisbury on this day in the year 1457. So let us just take a moment of quiet now as we come into the presence of God. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us take a moment of quiet to reflect on the past day. Bring to God any thoughts or concerns on our heart. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. And now I think we will say the words to uh, the evening hymn before the ending of the day. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. And our psalm this evening is Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer. 
neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And our scripture reading this evening is from 1 Peter, chapter 5, eight and verses 8 and 9. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in the faith. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me. Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. We come to a time of prayer. So let us pray. Almighty Father, we pray that the rest of this night may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. We pray to you with grateful thanks for the past day, for the conversations we have had, for the people we have encountered, for tasks completed and those left for another day. May all we think, say and do bring us closer to you. Almighty Father, we pray that we may hear and respond well to your call to peace and justice. In these times of racial and political unrest, let us acknowledge our past shortcomings and strive 
to be the best version of humanity that we can be, without recourse to damaging the lives and work of others. We pray that our world and all creation receive your healing and renewing touch, that world economies recover swiftly and that recession is short-lived. Almighty Father, we pray for the sick in mind, body or spirit, that those suffering any form of illness or disease are given restored health, that those suffering loneliness, anxiousness or fear are calmed and assured of your love that those who have lost their jobs or are concerned for their livelihoods receive reassurance and comfort that all is not lost. We pray for our communities, especially for all those who have asked for our prayers. We pray for those who live or work in Coventry Road North and Coventry Road South Kingsbury, Cherry Close in Hurley, Johnson Street in Woodend and Merivale Lane in Merivale with Bentley. Almighty Father, we pray that those who grieve the loss of a loved one, especially the families and friends of George Seedhouse, June Alabaster, Eileen Ball, Mary Smith and Marie Rich. May they find peace and hope and may they know that those who have died rest forever in your loving arms. Almighty Father, we pray that you will strengthen and sustain us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray, through your Son Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray the collect for this day. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed, all for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Let us conclude our prayers by saying together the Lord's Prayer in its traditional form. Please do join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. 
Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Thursday evening. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again next week, Tuesday at 8 o'clock and Thursday at 8 o'clock. You may well be aware that um, our churches are beginning to open at this weekend for public worship. So <clears throat> our first service back is 11 a.m. at Merivale Church. So maybe I'll see some of you there. Have a good night. Keep safe. God bless.